Our first chance to chat with you since the Flyers made a big change. Well, the Flyers said adios to Chuck Fletcher on Friday and named this gentleman, Danny Briere, the team's interim GM. We're not going to get rid of everybody. We have some, some good players here. I'm not afraid to use the word rebuild, but as long as you all understand those little asterisks, that it's, uh, it's not a fire sale. It doesn't mean fire sale for me. Tippett, turbocharged time. Tippett, spin, back at her, he scores! Let me just say, you were right, and I was wrong on Philadelphia. This has been my worst year for predictions ever. I was way off on Philly, way off on Philly. Well, Danny, it's crazy to think about you just basically celebrated your year anniversary of being the Flyers GM. And there's days where I think you've been doing this 10 years because it yeah. seems that way. And then I think, no, wait, he, he's still kind of new at this. Do there's you think days, that? Yeah, there's days it feels like that, but it, it's gone so fast. Mm -hmm. You know, just a, uh, a year ago, uh, I was walking into the GM meetings in Florida. Mm -hmm. I just had a couple days ago, um, you know, and it was... Uh, it was a lot. It was intimidating the first day, even though I knew a lot of the guys in the room. Yep. Um, it was a lot easier this time around going back, uh, going back to it. And you see all of this in your guys' hallways. Yeah. And it just it shows the Philly blood, the history, the passion. Right. It shows what we're seeing right now in yeah. this run, right? Some of the uh, you know biggest moment in, in Flyers history. Uh, some of the biggest names that. <laughs> have played um, and we've, we've had a lot over the years mm -hmm. um, it's uh, one of the most iconic yeah, franchises in, in the NHL so it's really it really is a privilege to to be representing them as a general manager and we were just talking about how lovely your office is and, <laughs> and you told me you know I got here quicker than I thought do you ever pinch yourself thinking like this had to have been a goal for you for forever that you're here now I don't know if it was a goal. I, I always um, thought that I could do the job. That was always uh, a passion of mine, um, you know, building a hockey team. And, you know, it's, yeah, in a sense, it's a dream job because there's only 32 of them. Um, and the other amazing part is the team that I have uh, working around me, um, from you know Jonesy to our assistant GMs to the whole crew. Uh, it, it's been fantastic. It's been really a lot of fun to do. What is the hardest part? If there's anything that maybe surprised you this first year, like, oh, that was pretty hard to handle. Um, <laughs> I guess I, I, I would say, you know, I, I imagine most people think, uh, I was one of them too at first, you think you're doing contracts for the players, you're making trades, you're the fun stuff, se yeah. selecting yeah. at the draft table, uh, like you said, the, the fun stuff. Um, you know, but, but there's a lot of drama behind the scenes, I guess. Um, you know, you're dealing sometimes with um, players unhappy with what's going on, agents not happy with the way their clients are treated. Um, you know, so that's the stuff that you don't realize quite as much, that um, they're, they're all part of it, and, and you have to confront and you have to, to face. And speaking of that, if the first year you have had, we talk about it all the time with Scott Hartnell and Al Morgani, they can't believe the job you've done staying composed when you look at the situations like a top prospect not wanting to be here you have to trade him away you get an asset for him you're starting goaltenders not here with the team at this <laughs> moment i mean it's crazy to think about in your first year's gm all of this you've had to handle and you've done it so calmly and confidently how um the team around me um starting with dan hilferty jonesy the support that i've received from them to start with makes makes it a lot easier uh, to deal with any situation. Um, our assistant GMs have been fantastic to uh, to work with and then and then it trickles down to the rest of the staff. What probably I'm most proud of is is the way we've all worked together, how we've all come together and found ways to, to make it work. So um, you know it, it's not just about me, it's it's really about the team that I have uh, around me that makes it Makes it fun to come to work, but even in a tough situation, um, they're really good at it. putting me in a good position, giving me the chance to maybe look relaxed, even though I'm not always, uh, but to find a way to, to come up with solutions. That's, the, uh, the, the, that's probably the best part is, uh, you know, in this job and the people that are around you is trying to find solutions to the problem that are thrown at us. And I have to thank you for problem solving every single day, but how much just maybe being a flyer 
understanding what they're going through on the ice help you in that decision making? I, I think it's it's valuable. Um, you know, when one of the things that we talked about that we felt needed a, a big change was the culture. Um, it's something that's very important to uh, our coach, uh, John, and um, I think understanding how a dressing room works, the, the synergies inside the dressing room, that's something that he, he takes uh, you know, to another level. He's excellent at it, um, but understanding how it works uh, on my end probably helped our relationship as well. Um, you know that was that was one really one of the key um, you know with, with John that, that we had to, to focus on and and reshape. And it seems like that culture change flipped in a year, and it's crazy because you've well, been in a dressing room and we everyone says, oh, it's a special group. Yeah. But I feel like players mean it this year. That's how it feels, and and you can see it on the ice how they play for for each other. Um, I, I never thought it would have as big of an impact um, as it seems to have on, on this group but it's been so fun to watch and uh, you know I, I give the coaches a lot of credit for that for um, you know rebuilding I guess the the culture um, I give the players a lot of credit because you need guys to buy in and get over their ego and and really buy in to a team culture that uh, th that's been put in place since day one here um, so it's it's been fun to watch